Greetings, Fortniteers. This is Jiggy Seth. We're going to use Chun Li in this match. Are her eyes cross eyed? She really likes that popcorn. We're going to head over to Fortnite Wiki, like always. Interpol officer with a strong sense of justice and even stronger roundhouse kick. My favorite kick's the back kick. Chun Li is a Gaming Legends series outfit in Fortnite Battle Royale that can be purchased in the item shop for 1600 V-Bucks or with the Ryu and Chun Li bundle for 2200 V-Bucks. Chun Li was first released in Chapter 2 Season 5 and is part of the Street Fighter set. There's her signature move. Pretty awesome. Yata. That means yay in Japanese. Check out Batman's arm. He's jacked. Been working out again, huh? Or maybe it's the ballet. Take it easy there, Barishnikov. Alright, let's head on over to Naughty Nets. This used to be an old favorite of mine last season. I'm going to try and hit that tower at the top of the hill. Chun Li here comes in two selectable styles, default and nostalgic. Item shop appearances. Chun Li has appeared in 31 different item shops on 29 different days. She was last seen 367 days ago on August 1st of last year. It's almost a year ago. And the first time was for her release date on February 21st, 2021. That's 893 days ago. Just navigating through those trees there. These towers are always good for two chests. One on top, one on the bottom. Oh, and a shield potion to boot. All right, let's shield up. That back bling's pretty awesome, isn't it? Who here used to play Street Fighter or Street Fighter 2 or any of the other iterations of Street Fighter? I always used to play Street Fighter 2. They had it at the laundromat near our house in North Hollywood. And when I say house, I mean apartment. We couldn't afford a house back then. Can't afford a house right now, living in a guest house. That's okay. Thanks, Bidenomics. What is that called? The cab masher or the super cab masher? Check this dude out. Uh, you were just leaving? Bye bye. First OM. I think I get about five or six OMs in this game. This was the first of two victory rails I got last night. I'm on a weird winning streak. I'm kind of hoping I run out so I don't have to make videos every day. I get home from work, have two cookies, make some iced coffee, and get down to it for you. And then after I narrate my video, I like to play about an hour's worth of Fortnite. Yata. When I used to play Street Fighter 2, I would always play Ken because I had long blonde hair at the time. Kind of letting my hair go a little bit now. Just don't have the time or money for a haircut. Again, thanks Bidenomics. Here's some trivia on Chun-Li. Chun-Li was teased in the real life replica of Jones Field Pack with hand wraps, which are used for boxing gloves, similar to these. Reminds me of Claude Van Damme and the Kickboxer. Chun Li's nostalgic style is based on her appearance from the Street Fighter Alpha series. Chun Li was the first female gaming legend series outfit. In the version 24.30 update, Chun Li's default style had a bug that made her look extremely glossy. As of update version 24.40, the bug was fixed. I don't like bugs. Thinking of getting one of those sonic repellents. We have a spider and ant issue in our house. Crickets too. 
Boy, when those things get inside, they're noisy. Alright, a couple nice hits. They're hiding behind a rock. Oops, I kind of trapped myself behind a wall for a second. You ever get stuck in your own builds? I do that a lot, especially at the end of the game. I trap myself in the storm. Now, I don't know if they took this dude out or not. I'm going to go check. I'm kind of overbuilding here. Yeah, there's no one else here. I thought so. Who's your favorite Street Fighter character? Ken and Ryu have the same finishing moves and special moves. Dawson was kind of fun with the long arms. Or Blanca. He could shock you. Oh, you know who else was a fun skin? M. Bison. That was good times. And what about Vega? Was that Street Fighter 2? He's got the claws. Never really played Guile. His hair was kind of funky. Such a Capcom thing to do. Right, we got a special NPC here. Field Surgeon. It's very general. Actually, uh, a Field Surgeon wouldn't be a general. Although it is general. That is the paradox. Stew on that for a bit. So when I do these videos, I always set out to just narrate what I'm saying. But I end up on a news page on my phone. Just reading you guys' news. What do you guys prefer? Play-by-play -play narration or news? Or a mix of both, which is what I kind of give you. So we're over on Street Fighter Wiki's page, which actually links off Fortnite Wiki's page. And what they're saying about Chun-Li, I am the strongest woman in the world. You ready for this? Kaguko wa iwane. My Japanese is a little bit rusty. Want to see my Kung Fu? I'll show you. Now I was under the impression that Chun-Li was Chinese. Although Street Fighter is a Japanese game. Chun Li, simplified Chinese. Okay, she is Chinese. Also known as the Martial Arts Master. And I just eliminated someone. I was looking at my phone, I looked up and I saw an elimination, so you guys saw it. I lived it last night. And I missed it right now. Kakutogi Masuta. Simplified Chinese for Martial Arts Master. I probably mispronounced that. She is the tritagonist and main female protagonist of the Street Fighter series, originally debuting in Street Fighter 2. The first female fighter in the series, I didn't know that. She is an expert martial artist and Interpol officer who relentlessly seeks revenge for the death of her father at the hands of M. Bison. I always used to call him Mike Bison, which rhymes with Mike Tyson. What does M stand for? Maybe we'll look that up in a second here. Interpol. She works for Interpol. That's a great band. I saw them twice. Once they were headlining, and the second time they were on the Curiosa Festival with The Cure. I love The Cure. I saw The Cure twice. I saw them on that festival and the Blood Flowers tour a few years prior. Concept. Chun-Li was designed by Akira Akiman Yasuda. According to Akiman, Chun-Li was modeled after Tao from Shotaro Ishinomori's Genma Wars Harmageddon movie which was the number one box office anime movie of 1983. Probably before you guys were all born. I was only 13 years old. Chun-Li originally had big wide-legged pants and had a front and back apron. In case you wanted to jump into the kitchen and whip up some chow mein noodles, 
I made that part up. Akiman changed it because she didn't look very sexy and the design lacked visual impact and personality. Whenever I get ready for work, I am very concerned about that visual impact. Around the 11th hour, he experimented with her outfit choices. Finally, he decided to give her bare legs and a bodycon dress, making her look more like a professional wrestler. This became the finalized design for Chun-Li, which you're seeing right now. Oh, there's someone down there. Let's see if we can take him out. That was easy. And what about his friend? More like his foe. Still building? Oops. That was a mistake. With the exploder shotgun, make sure to get all the way over an edge. I make that mistake all the time. Same with the Cybertron cannon. I'm always blowing myself up in the face. Alright, Chun-Li shares similarities to Tong Pu from Capcom's Strider franchise. I have no idea what that is. The Street Fighter 3 New Generation Secret File appears to make a nod to this fact, showing a picture of Tong Pu in a TV while wondering if it'd be the next Chun-Li. Any relation to Winnie the Pooh? Alright, let's go hunting. Mega City is so awesome. I hope they keep this in the game for a while. I was very happy to see it this season. Field Surgeon eliminated. There they are. Can't seem to get a shot on them. Nope. And now the hologram's in the way. And now they could probably see me, but I can't see them. We're gonna retreat. Chun Li's name. Chun Li's name is Mandarin for Spring Beauty. It is properly Romanized as Chun Li in Pinyin and pronounced Chun Li, despite Westerners commonly pronouncing it as Chun Li. The Japanese on Yomi rendering of the name is Chun Li. I'll keep calling her Chun Li, because I am Western. I love me a good Western, especially if Clint Eastwood's up in there or John Wayne. I'm just messing around. Been to the Gene Autry Museum a few times. That place is awesome. It's right near the LA Zoo. I do prefer the Santa Barbara Zoo. I took Kyle there probably a few weeks ago. After like an hour, he got bored. If you guys ever go to Santa Barbara, their zoo now features an Australian walkabout. It's a large contained area, and it's just you and kangaroos, wallabies, and an emu. They could actually come right up to you if they want. There are zoo staff in there in case something goes wrong. Knowing my luck, something would go wrong. I'd have a kangaroo come up and try to box me. Older official sources from the early 90s indicate Chung was Chun Li's surname, although it is worth noting this could very well not be the case anymore. Check it out. I got the ray gun. I used to know a guy named Ray Gunn. I'm just kidding. You guys remember the wrestler is Billy Gunn? And who is the other gun? Bart Gunn. Right, where's this dude at? I think I lost him. Bounty accepted. Alright, we're just gonna creep around here. It's getting kind of creepy. With all this creeping around. Alright, older official sources from the early 90s indicate Chung was Chun Li's surname. Although it is worth noting, this could very well not be the case anymore. I already read that, so now you have it twice. In the live action Street Fighter movie, Chun Li was given the surname Zhang Zhang, but Capcom has not officially recognized it. Several Japanese drama CDs and novels created based on the series, have given her surname as both Feng and Wang, though these are also not officially recognized by Capcom. I used to have some Street Fighter comic books. Those are pretty cool. Appearance. Chun-Li's appearance has differed several times in the Street Fighter series. 
as well as in official art and cameos she has made in other works. She is known for her very muscular thighs. Looks like someone built up there. We're going to see if someone's still up there. Having some building issues here. There's some parts of the map you just can't build on for some reason. Keep running into that. Speaking of running into, I'll get up on here. Whoever was up here, I think they've moved on. We are going to get into some action in a moment in the building adjacent. You'll see that when I get over there. Chun Li wears a Ki Pao. I definitely mispronounced that. A Chinese dress imported over from Manchuria that became popular among girls during the early 20th century. Alright, here we go. Action's about to ensue. Someone definitely noticed me coming in here. Because they're going to be coming around the mountain any minute here. And I'm going to pick them off. Alright, where are you at? There's the super cab masher. There they are. It took a few for the cloak gauntlets to dissipate. And that brought me enough time to eliminate them. And check it out, they dropped High Card's weapon. And a legendary slurp. Awesome. Chun Li's outfit is modified to allow a far wider range of movement than a normal Kapow. She also wears white combat boxing boots of varying height around calf length in games such as Street Fighter 2 series and older versus Capcom titles. Or around knee high in games based around her third strike sprite and a blue leotard with dark brown sheer pantyhose and a blue thong underneath with her kapow. And if I'm mispronouncing kapow, which is spelled Q-I-P-A-O, sorry about that, her kapow is blue with golden accents. She was originally supposed to wear a peach colored kapow, as seen in her in-game profile and ending in the original Street Fighter 2. Large spike bracelets whose ring is black steel and spikes are white chrome, polished steel are worn on both arms. According to supplementary materials, she wears the kapow in honor of her late mother, who passed away in her early childhood, and whose only photo showed her in a kapow similar to her daughter's. Someone poached my bounty. I hope they didn't poach my eggs also. The spiked metal bracelets she is known to wear are made of iron and weigh approximately seven to 10 kilograms. That's the equivalent of 15 to 22 pounds each. I'm more familiar with that style of measurement. Chun Li also wears them to help tone and exercise her body. The kapow is fitted with weights to help build body strength and finesse. While her bracelets are for the purpose of balancing her body when performing her kicking moves, including helping stabilize her center of gravity during a, oh, I'm definitely gonna butcher this, Hyakure Su Kyaku and limit her during supers such as the Sendetsu Kyaku to avoid overexerting her muscles. The spikes are also used for the purpose of intimidation. I'll leave it there. As you can see, the Street Fighter wiki is a bit more extensive than the Fortnite wiki, especially pertaining to this character. I'm going to switch things up and head over to Fortnite's Twitter page, which is also known as Fortnite's X page, since Twitter changed their name to X. I think I mentioned that in the last five videos. Alright, what do we got for today? We got a retweet from Fortnite. Ralph Lauren, the call of adventure inspires the race to greatness by Polo Ralph Lauren, launching... August 3rd, which is today, created in Fortnite game. Our digital world translates the spirit of polo into a race to victory across our iconic Polo Pony Island.
created in Fortnite. I actually have a Ralph Lauren jacket. It's waterproof and it's coffee proof. I tested that one day on the bus when I spilled my coffee and it didn't stain. Very impressed. Sometimes you do get what you pay for. I never paid too much for clothes though. And there's only four players left in this game. I've talked my way all the way to the end. Alright, what else we got here on Fortnite's Twitter? A fresh batch of quests are now available in the Level Up Quest Pack. Complete them to unlock the Sullen Shadow Wrap. I don't think I need the Level Up Quest Pack this season. I'm doing pretty well on my own. Oh, here's a little blurb on the Level Up Quest Pack. Life? Overrated. Take a stroll in darkness as Vicora. Experience the Shadow Walker set in this season's Level Up Quest Pack. Now purchasable in the item shop. What do you guys think of that? There's no way they're going to top Omega Knight. That was the very coolest level up quest pack. And what else do we have on Fortnite's Twitter page? I'm going to run these two again. I can't remember if I gave this to you in yesterday's video or not. Unlock your inner savage with the Mr. Savage's hand-picked locker bundle. I wonder what the Jiggy Seth locker bundle would look like. Oh, check it out. It's just me and one other guy. Alright, we got to the end of the match pretty quick. I'm just going to heal up here really quick. I know I read you this yesterday, but I'm going to read it again. His mission is to protect you. Reprogrammed by John Connor himself. Purchase Terminator while he's still in our Timelines item shop. But if you miss out, don't worry. He'll be back. I know, I gave you that joke yesterday too. Alright, where's my final opponent at? Chun Li. So the very next match is a duo's match with my son. We resurrected the Agent Peelys, the Agent Peely duo. That's actually my most popular video on my channel. It's way back from Chapter 2, Season 2, from the very first day, as a matter of fact. I just happened to be sick that day, and took a sick day. And after I rested up a little bit, I decided to play some Fortnite. And I played a whole bunch of matches on the very first day of Chapter 2, Season 2. There's no way you're going to hit me up here, dude. This is a pretty cool place to build a fort. I got the high ground and everything. Got the ray gun ready. Let's see, which weapon you think I'm going to use to take him out? Uh-oh, got to move. Pesky storm, always pushing me out. Here's some high grass. This is a great place to chill out. Until I find my final opponent. I really should have used the cloak gauntlets right here and searched around a bit. Not to worry, they're right there. Boom. Turns out I used the combat SMG. Victory Royale for Chun Li. Hope you guys enjoyed that match. Stay tuned for the Agent Peely duo match coming up tomorrow. And don't forget to support a creator, J I K K Y S E F, that spells Jicky Seth. That's me. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great fortnight.